All right, so today we've got a very quick but extremely important update for my fellow global players out there. And this is something that a lot of people have been asking me about quite a bit over the past couple of months. And I just didn't really have a legit answer until right now. So basically, a few hours ago, renowned uh, data leaker slash miner I seriously on Twitter posted that 4.16.0 should arrive in the following weeks on global and that's version 4.16.0 now he didn't really give us an exact timeline he just said following weeks but we can assume he means probably not too far in the future maybe like two to four weeks or something like that and since the anniversary is about eight weeks away still or maybe seven weeks away uh, i'm assuming that he means that we're gonna be getting this before the anniversary starts, which is pretty awesome. And for those of you that don't remember what came with 4.16.0 on JP, it was a very significant update. Okay, there were some very, very big changes to the game that a lot of people uh, you know, are very much looking forward to on the global side. So let's quickly pop over to, uh, let's see. Uh, Air Dokon's page, big shout out to him as well as I seriously. And this post was from March 9th, which is when version 4.16.0 was first announced on the JP side. And the first thing that came with it was the new game mode, Peton Battle, where you can use these like little chibi stickers for this completely new game mode, this like passive game mode. They gave out some really nice rewards, and that's obviously something that I've been super excited to try out, so can't wait for that. And number two, you can start using characters with the same name on the same team. So for example, if you wanted to run like three Ultra Instinct Gokus, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to run, you know, like a full team of, um, I don't know, Android 18s, for example, which I definitely want to do, <laughs> you can also do that as well. Um, so that should definitely be coming with uh, 4.16.0 uh, for Global as well. And finally, and I would argue this is the most significant update, by meeting certain conditions, you will be able to exchange SSR characters for coins in the Baba shop. And this is just, it's so, it's so big, man, because it's going to allow people to actually get some use out of these extra, you know, previously useless SSRs that they pull on banners, right? And the condition is basically you have to have that unit rainbowed first. So for example, if you have like, you know, AGL Khalifla, right? She's already rainbowed and you pull the extra copy on a Dokkan Fest banner, then you can actually exchange that SSR for red coins in the Baba shop. And you can actually get each type of coin, but it depends on uh, which banner you pulled that SSR from. So if you got the unit from a gold coin banner, like a legendary summon banner, then you can exchange it for uh, gold coins in the Baba shop. And then if you, you know, pulled it from a Dokkan Vest banner, then it's red coins. And if you pu pulled it from a blue coin banner, that's going to be blue coins. So, uh, yeah, after this update, we will all be able to exchange our extra useless SSRs for these um, gotcha coins, which can be used, of course, to exchange for, you know, other units, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for that, man. Especially, especially with the anniversary around the corner where myself and a lot of people, you know, plan to spend a ton of stones trying to pull for uh, the new LRs, right? Like having this new function now will allow us to get a lot more value out of our summons, even if we don't get the new units. If you pull a bunch of extra SSRs you don't need, you can now exchange those for extra coins. So that's gonna be awesome. Oh, one, um, one additional feature, of course, is that you won't be able to exchange old SSRs Right, like ones you pulled before the update, only SSRs you pulled after the update can be exchanged with this feature. So one thing to keep in mind. But uh, that's basically it, guys. Update 4.16.0 on the way it is. It's going to be big. I'm excited for it. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be exactly the same as the JP update, by the way. Okay, so um, if there are changes, don't get mad at me because obviously, you know, they've done that in the past. But... It's going by what JP got. I'm expecting to get these three features as well. And I think there were a few other changes too. 
Uh, let me quickly see. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. So we, we had this as well. Multiple copies of the same character will now make a stack. So if you have like 10 of these Gokus, instead of having just like 10 different icons in your box, they'll just stack and there'll be like a 10 on the top left corner. So that's going to help, um, I guess, with like your box management. Um, so that's also a nice, you know, quality of life change. But these are the three major things that global players should be able to expect for this upcoming update. As uh, I seriously said, in the following weeks, I don't exactly know what that means. Hopefully it means sooner than later. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this impending update. Obviously, I know you guys are excited for the anniversary. Expect a lot of coverage for that uh, in the next couple of months. And uh, that's it, guys. Update 4.16.0 on the way in the following weeks very soon. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.